Hey, what's up? This is Spy Prime One back again with another Transformers video review. I'm blowing through all my Cyberverse figures so far. Well, all my commanders, anyways. Um, this is Wave Three of the Cyberverse Commanders. Um, it's I just forgot the name. Power Steel. Um, no, Battle Steel. Battle Steel. Optimus Prime and uh, Decepticon Hatchet, who was one of the Dreads. Um, although they gave him a jet mode instead of him being one of the Chevy Suburbans. Um, but this mode looks good, too. Um, once again, I'm actually going to do the Autobot first instead of the Decepticon. This time because we've already seen the Autobot instead of this one being really cool and I want to save him to last. He still is cool, but this is one we've already seen and I can just blow through it real quick. Um, so, Battlesteel Optimus is a new deco, um, instead of being, uh, instead of having movie flames or just being a blue fade to red, he's blue on the bottom, red on the top, and then red right here. Um, so, yeah. Kind of bland, but still cool. Um, and he has new weapon accessories, which we'll get into after I transform him really quick. And there we go. And in robot mode, he still looks really cool. Now, weapons. For his weapons, he has two of his um, engine rifle blasters and uh, his two swords. Um, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take it and split it in half. And then this gun has a clip on this side, and it goes on this smokestack. And you take the sword out, and you put it in his hand. And then we'll just take the sword out first, put it in this hand. and then plug this onto this smokestack. So, this Optimus Prime is kind of like um, the Power Master Optimus Prime, if you really think about it. Red in the chest, the blue head, big ol' shoulder guns, um, silver, black, and blue legs, I never had a Power Master Optimus, um, but from all the videos and pictures I've seen, this kind of looks like Power Master Optimus Prime. Um, and then he's got the, the two orange swords that he's famous for having. Um, so yeah, he's really cool. If you don't already have the original version, the trailer version, um, or the Walmart exclusive, what was it, Battle in the Moonlight version, where the, it's the trailer Optimus, but they changed the colors, gave him white tires, and gave him a black trailer instead. Um, this one's worth picking up. And this one has different accessories. So he doesn't have a flight pack, he's got shoulder cannons and swords. Um, so pretty cool. Now on to Hatchet. Um, he's a jet of some type um, with landing gear although you don't really need it um, it's a really cool looking jet um, with two uh, missile drones underneath um, it I don't know I, I don't know really what to say about it, it it's a cool looking jet um, you can see his claws in the back though um, but other than that there's not really much to say about it 
Um, to transform him, you take off the drones. And then you flip out the weapons that are concealed within them. One is a Gatling gun, and the other is like a just your standard little blaster rifle. Set those off to the side. And then we um, come back here, pull out the nose cone, and then separate right here. Bring the back legs down. I'm doing this so out of order, I just realized. Um, I'm gonna fold the wings up and then bring down the back legs. Forgot about that part. Um, and then with the legs, the front legs, you wanna unpeg them. Bring this together, swing them around, and just bring it forward, and move the claw forward. So, unpeg, fold up, fold down, spin around, move the claw up. Um, for the head, you want to split the back wings open. I guess that was the first thing you should have done. I did this transformation so wrong. Um, but you come back here, grab his head, flip his head forward, um, grab this panel, flip that panel forward, kind of fill in the gap back here. And then you fold the wings back over, fold the wings up, and then take the back legs, extend them out, back leg extend out, fold landing gear a little bit closer to the leg. Um, move the hip a little bit closer, throw the legs back, um, and then position the tail however you want, and then you take the two drones that you have now turned into uh, guns and peg them into the wings where they were before. And there you have Decepticon Hatchet in his uh, beast robot mode. Um, very menacing looking, very, I will eat you and your soul and your heart and whatever else I can get my perpetually open mouth on. Uh, but very nice paint apps. I like the gold. Um, the red optics, um, the claws are really cool. He's got, um, five fingers in the front and then one in the back, or five toes, excuse me. Um, and then he's got flat back feet. Yeah. Um, and I like how the, uh, he's actually backwards. The jet would fly this way, but he faces that way. Um. And since these two came in the same wave, uh, with other repaints, uh, or, uh, with re-releases of, like, Ironhide and Megatron, um, I would always, like, envision this, uh, like, Optimus is driving, this jet would fly over, like so, like, it would fly, transform in midair, and then just crash on the ground right in front of him, and then he'd transform, <laughs> ah, stabbing face, give me your face, <sighs> Sorry. That's my uh, inner me getting, coming out. Um, but anyways. Yeah, Hatchet is definitely worth picking up. Um, especially if you already have Legion class uh, Crankcase and Crowbar, who I am actually in the process of hunting down. Um, I know I should have already caught them, but I didn't. Um, I was buying Deluxes and Voyagers at that time. So, but yeah, these are two really good, um, really good figures. Highly recommend them. This one, only if you don't already have one of the molds, or one of his mold already, or if you just really like the accessories it comes with. Um, 
and then hatchet definitely pick up um, especially if you want to complete your dreads um, even though he doesn't have any dreads um, so yeah um, I'm Spider Prime 1 back again with another video soon but until then signing off